Hi, welcome back. I hope you're having a very colorful day. I'm hoping that I will. I am just going to show you the package I got in the mail yesterday. I wasn't going to buy any more stuff this month because money is tight. But I couldn't resist the Under the Sea collection. I really wanted it all. But I got this uh, set, which was the paper pad and the tropical hibiscus, the dyes and the die cuts. Um, I've been shopping with Heartfelt Creations for a very long time. So I go to the website, but you can also go to Kathy's site at huckleberryherbsandarts.com and she has a wonderful selection of Heartfelt Creation and Graphic 45 and some other pieces that are just lovely and um, she's a great person to work with, very kind woman and I know you would have a great shopping experience but right now I just want to show you what I got and so I did get the tropical hibiscus because you can never have too many flower dyes and I love the way Emma Lou showed um, shaping these and in this package you actually get flowers and leaves and you also get some small seashell embellishments that you can add into your um, layouts of your flowers and things which I think is just beautiful and to go along with this stamp set, I also bought the matching dies, which um, also will individually cut out the seashell things. So I can't wait to play with these. But I also, with that set, I also got the um, paper, which several people have shown. And Kathy at Huckleberry Herbs and Arts shows it to its full advantage. And she actually has a couple of card examples on her site. I do want to make some cards with these because the colors are just so really, really beautiful. And the paper comes loose in the pad really easily. And at first I was kind of annoyed because just turning it could make it come loose. And it's been happening now for a few different paper pads I've bought. But I've realized that it's actually an advantage because it means that you can get your paper out without a lot of ripping and tearing. And I like that because there are a lot of paper pads that I struggle with. Um, and it's absolutely beautiful. There are so many already made fronts you can use here. But if you're a scrapbooker, excuse me while I make you a little dizzy, the reverse side is the scrapbooking side and it is just as beautiful as the card front and embellishment pages it's put together so beautifully and kathy in her video pointed out the really light pink dots that are also in this background because heartfelt creations does many layers in their paper and i do love the jellyfish and i did not get the jellyfish stamp this time but I do intend to get it at a future date. And so that's just a little sneak peek of the paper. Um, to really get a good view of this, you could visit heartfeltcreations.us or you can look at some of Kathy's um, videos where she shows the sneak peek and has this in stock. And she shows you the paper in her video. And... Um, it's just beautiful. So anyway, I did get some other stamps. Let me turn the pad over so I have a background to show them on. This, I think, I could not resist. This has a whole bunch of fish. And if you see them on the paper pad, they're beautifully colored in. And I really am looking forward to even just coloring them, let alone stamping them and using them because after all, kind of little pieces of adult coloring books without committing yourself to the whole page. And I like that. 
because I sometimes run out of steam before the whole page. And then I also bought this stamp set, which is beautiful. It has the big conch shell and it has this corner border die. Now the window and the fish are a little misleading. If you buy the die set, the die is separate where you could just do the, the uh, porthole frame. But in the stamp set, the little fish and the porthole are together. I mean, you could probably mask off the little fish if you just wanted to stamp the porthole. I haven't tried it, but um, I can show you the stamp. Just slide it out of its case. But that's the stamp of the fish and the porthole. So it is one piece. Now I will just slide this back into the case. And there are some beautiful um, boxes on Heartfelt Creations for stamp storage. I do have one of those and I do enjoy it. Then I also bought from a previous collection um, the berry blossoms because I wanted to make some hydrangeas or maybe even some lilacs because my lilac tree hasn't got any lilacs on it because we're still cold here in uh, upstate New York. It's only supposed to be a high of 56 today and it's rained for the past couple of days. So I'm hoping the lilacs come out soon because I love to walk outside and smell the fresh lilacs. And I did buy the berry blossoms dye to go with the blossoms here and you can see that the blossoms come with a couple of small corner gatherings a straight piece with some swirls which is really pretty some smaller blossoms and some larger and smaller blossoms and the larger one is two by two and a quarter this piece right here is actually five by two and a half so let me take this out of the box and let you see that too. Is that five or? It's a half inch by two and a half inches. I'm sorry. So it's a half inch wide by two and a half inches long, but you could put them together and create any size that you needed. It would even make a pretty little frame for around a picture in a photo album. But I just love Heartfelt Creations materials. And you can see you can stamp your flowers all at once. And then the corresponding dies are also together. So all you do is lay them down over your stamped image and you cut it all out at once. And if you haven't seen this happen before, the edge of the die lines up. You, you put it over your stamped image, you just lay it right over the stamped image and it cuts it out cleanly. So you can color your images beforehand and you don't even have to worry about staying inside the lines and it will cut out perfect, perfectly colored images every time. Um, and I enjoy that. So that was my haul from Heartfelt Creations. Like I said, I've been shopping it at their site for a very long time, and I have a kind of a relationship with them. But if you are new to Heartfelt Creations or you would like to see uh, all the extra things that Kathy has at uh, huckleberryherbsandarts.com, I recommend shopping with her. Like I said, she's now carrying Graphic 45, which is another paper line that I love. And I'm probably gonna go to Kathy's site and look at Graphic 45 as soon as I have funds together for yet more craft shopping. So I hope you've enjoyed this view of my newest purchase. I'm hoping to put something together soon and do a, an artsy video showing how I'm using these. And until then, have a very peaceful, colorful day. I'm hoping you're having a very colorful life. Remember, enjoy every second. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would sincerely appreciate it. Then that way I know that I'm sharing my joy of color with even more people. So thanks for watching and have a beautiful day. Bye.